Israel, man. First of all, I want to say, give me, give a call, Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Mashiach, Yahweh, Man, and death to America these last days. Man. Death to America. You know what I'm saying? We're going to start up. Let me get the book of Psalms, chapter 144, and verse uh, 1. Psalms 144, and verse 1. Let me get the book of Psalms, chapter 18 and 34. You give me Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 22. Just hold that, man. You know what I'm saying? Psalms, chapter 18. And verse 34, no. he teaches my hands to war. He what? He, he teaches, teaches my hands, hands to war. I wonder you wonder what, who teaches my hand to war, man? Who would teach a man's hand to war, man? Who would teach the Israelites' hands to war? Let me get the book of Psalms, chapter 144. It's, yeah. the, it's the book of Psalms, chapter 144, and verse 1. No. Blessed be the Lord my God. Who? Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, Lord my God. God. Read it again. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, Lord my God. God. Read. Which teaches my hands to war. Which what? Which, Which teaches, teaches my, my hands, hands to war. And many people don't understand that the Lord in these last days, he's teaching our hands to war, man. That's right. All of my ancestors, they knew how to war, man. You know what I'm saying? This is the different kind of war we're doing right now because we are here spiritually, man. Yes. But the Lord said he would teach our hands to war, read. And my fingers to fight. And our what? And my fingers. To to fight. Fight. So, hey, if you run up on the prophets, hey, we're going to give you a chance, but we're not scared, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do what the Lord gave us, man. We're going right. to keep the keep the commandments, teach them what they're structured up in uh, America, right. and we're going to bring to this right, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that they may rise in these last days. Man. Right. 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 Let, me, right. let me get the book of First Ma or Second Maccabees, the chapter 14 and verse 3, man. Bring it out. All right. Hold what you got. Hold what you got, too. And let me get the book of, uh... no, I'll let him read it. Go ahead. Second Maccabees, chapter 7. Chapter 14 and verse 3. Bring it now, out. now, one alchemist who had been high priest and had defiled himself willfully in the times of their mingling with the Gentiles. With who? With, with the, the Gentiles. Gentiles. And that's what's wrong with our people right now, man. They have defiled themselves willfully, man. They walk around willfully sinning, man. That's right. It's a Shabbat, man. You can't buy and sell on a Shabbat. You can't eat all these defiled foods, man. They defile themselves willfully, man. Read that again, King. Ah. Second Maccabees. Chapter 14 and verse 3. Bring it now, out. Now, one alchemist who had been high priest and had defiled himself willfully uh -huh. in the times of their mingling with the Gentiles. Read. Seeing that by no means he could save himself. He could do what? He, he could, could save, save himself. himself. And we know that he can't save himself. But yeah, how about you? How much I had to save himself? Read. Nor has any more access to the holy altar. With what? Lord, have any more access to the holy altar? He had been casted out into dark, only darkness. Keep reading, King. Verse 4. Uh -huh. Came to King Demetrius in the hundred and one and fiftieth year, presenting unto him a crown of gold. A what? A crown of gold. And that's what we hope to get, man. We hope to get that crown of gold. Read. A crown of gold and a palm, and also of the bows which were used solemnly in the temple. And so that day, he held his peace. He held his peace, man. You know what I'm saying? And we've been doing that all the time, man. We've been holding our peace, man. Let me get the book of, uh, you get it. Let me get 2 Maccabees chapter 15 and verse 7, uh, 15, man. 2 Maccabees chapter 15 and verse 15. Uh -huh. and whereupon Jeremiah, holding forth his right hand, gave to Judas a sword. Hold on, King. Stop it, King. Damn it.
gave to Judas a sword. He did what? Gave, gave to, to Judas, Judas a sword. What the Lord's gonna give us? Gave to Judas a sword Read. of gold. Uh -huh. And in giving it makes us take this holy sword. Do what? Take this holy sword. Do what? Take this holy sword. Free. A gift from God. And what? A gift from God. And the Lord told us how to use these things. Read, Read. What's the witch? Thou shalt wound the adversary. We should do what? With the wind, thou shalt wound the adversary. And we know that day is coming, man. Right. Hey, this is nothing that's new, man. The Lord right. said that which is and that which has been what? Will be again, man. Right. So guess what? We know it's a thing again. The whole we got Russia and damn China and all these other nations setting up a war, man. These days are here. Right. These, are, these days are not far, they are nigh, nice, man. You know what I'm saying? But right now, we got these swords, man. These are our swords. Hold your sword up, brother. These are our swords in the last day. We're dealing with a spiritual sword. Let me get that, King. It's the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, and verse 4. We know. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Read. But mighty. But what? But not mighty. mighty. But what? But, but mighty. mighty. Hey, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty, man. Hey, the words of Yahweh, while well, Yahweh shot, are mighty, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? All up to this day, man, we got the people walking to and fro, willfully trying to sin and follow after the ways of the heathens, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And follow after their gods, man. Let me get Psalm chapter 96 and verse 10, I mean, 96 and verse 5, King. We can't follow after the way. These are the last days, man. You ain't got no, you ain't got time, man. Right. I ain't got time to argue. I ain't got time to fight, and my brother. I ain't got time to be dealing with Esau, man. Right. I got a time to keep what? The straight and narrow path, man. Right. Let's keep these commandments, man. And you know, hope that the Lord take us abroad, away from this wicked ass land, man. Right. You know? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 96. Verse 5, Bring it out. for all the gods of the nation. For what? For all, all the gods, gods of the nation. nation. Stop following the Chinese man, man. For all, for all the, the gods, gods of the nation. nation. Stop following the so-called white man, man. For all the gods of the nation. You can't follow Elon, man. Read. Or idols. Or what? Or idols. So why would you want to follow a damn statue? Right. You know what I'm saying? Read, King. But the Lord made the heavens. What? But the Lord, Lord made, made the heavens. Uh-huh. Verse 6. That's it. That's it on that, man. The Lord made the heavens, man. The Lord created everything. Why the hell would you want to follow and the after the man of the wickedness on this right, earth, man? That's right. Especially in a time of war, man. Yeah, how was I told us about this, man? Let me get the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 6, man. And you give me Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 22. You give me Exodus, chapter 32, and verse 17. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 6. And ye shall hear room. Shalaki. And ye shall hear of wars uh, and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. The Lord says, see that ye be not troubled, man. Don't be troubled, man. We hear these things. We see these things. We read the damn articles. Every time you turn on the news, every time you flip the phone over, you flip the tablet over, there's rumors of war there, man. Right. And you can't get out of it, you know what I'm saying? Right. Apostle Paul told them to commit that what? If these times, man, there's no need for me to read and write to you, man. You know what the times are, man. You know what it is with Russia. Russia ain't gonna give up, man. You know what I'm saying? America is doomed, man. That's right. In the name of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, shot, thus said the Lord, thus said the Holy Bible, man. That's right. Read, King. For all these days must come to pass, uh -huh. but the end is not yet. The end is not yet, man. Right. So these, hey, don't let these, don't be fooled by this war, but we are in the time of wars, man. What you heard, right. King? Right. Let me get Exodus 32 and 17. Exodus chapter 32 and verse 17. Read it out. And when Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said to Moses, Joshua, there is a noise of war in the camp. Do what? Read that here, King. Exodus chapter 32 and verse 17. Bring it out. And when Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said to Moses. What did he say? He said to Moses, there is a noise of war in the camp. The what? There, there is, is a, a noise, noise of war, war in, in the, the camp. camp. There is a noise of war in the camp, man. That's right. War is everywhere right now. Right. We're in a spiritual war. You in the damn physical war. You in the day. The Lord is granting mercy. Up. We, we got to call all your howl, man. That's right. Because the simple fact about it is, it's all kind of wars amidst us, man, and we're still living, man. That's right. right. Hey, only the true power of, of the world, man, the creator of heaven and earth, can do that, man. That's you right. You know what I'm saying? Bring that out, King. Wow, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 22. Bring it A sound of battle is in the land. The what? A, a sound of battle is in the land. land. If you don't hear that, man, you can't hear that sweet. To us, it's a sweet savior, man. It's a sweet savior, sound of battle, because we know our de the destruction of America is not, our salvation is not, and we're going to be delivered out of this wicked ass land. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. So we must pray to the, to the east, man, to the Father, our Father. That's in heaven, you know what I'm saying? Why? Because we try, we hoping to get salvation, man. That's right. Bring that out, King. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 3, verse 8. Uh -huh. And thou shalt command the priests uh -huh. that bear the ark of the covenant, saying, 
when ye are come to the brink of the water of Jordan. Hold on, so I can, uh, Judges, Judges chapter 3 and verse 8. Lock it, King. Because, hey, we in these last days, man, and I'm going to tell you the most proud person, man, is Esau, but I'm going to tell you who the most proud is, man. Hey, the daughters of Jerusalem are the most proud, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We get on Jake. We come out here, we get on Esau, but it's time to get on these daughters, man. Why? Because they have shown themselves to be shame, shameless in these last days, man. That's, That's right. right. Profaning the name of the Lord, That's man. Right. What you read that, King? It's the book of Judges, chapter 3, verse 8. Yeah. Therefore, the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. Against who? Against, against Israel. Israel. Read. And he sold them into the hand of the Shushanites. Uh huh. I'm king of Macedonia, uh -huh. and the children of Israel served. Shu shall rest with them eight years. How many years? Eight, eight years. years. Three. And when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, uh -huh. the Lord raised up a deliverer. Now what? A uh -huh. deliverer. And that's what we're doing right now, man. We're out here crying unto the Lord, man. Nobody else is out here crying to the Lord, man. Let me get down to the that's right. We out here crying to the Lord, man. That's right. For all the abominations and these wicked ass things that's happened to our people, man. Yeah, but man. we know ultimately it's the Lord, you know what I'm saying? I'm not kicking man, through the most high Yahweh. But guess what, man? Somebody got to do it, man. Right, Somebody got to tell the people repent. Somebody got to tell the people come back to your God. That's Somebody right. got to tell the people pull up your band. That's tell right. us to put some clothes on. Tell us to stop secretly with every damn man that right. walk by, man, and stop opening your damn legs to every quiver, man. That's, That's right. right. That king. Bring it out. Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 26. Uh -huh. Her priest. Who? Her, her priest. America's priest, man. Read. Have violated my love. Uh huh. And have profaned my holy thing. And that's why all people running around here with all kind of folly, man. All kind of madness, all kind of manner of sin, man. Not listening to the prophets, man. Not listening to the Lord, man. They shun the prophets when they walk by. Right. Look at Zechariah chapter 70, verse 11, man. They walk and keep walking, man. The Lord is trying to tell them, you at the last minute, Russia's got the damn ball. It's the damn fourth quarter, man. Right. America's not going to tell you that they don't have the damn ball, man. They ain't even got the right defense. Right. And you see the sound of war is in the, it's in the land, man. And you're going to keep walking, man, and ignoring the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. That's gonna bring utter death and destruction. Hey, sisters. Hey, brother, y'all got a minute for the word of the Lord, sister? One minute. Hey, the only the only good is the Lord, man. Yeah, how is the good, man? We know that for They have put no difference between the holy and profane, neither uh -huh. have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean. And that's why our people are stuck eating unclean foods. Stuck serving other gods because these priests are t putting no damn difference between. Hey, brother, you got a minute for the word of the Lord? Come, come, come in. Let me ask you a question. I got a question for you, King. Question after that. Good question. Good question. Hey, you are here to according to the Bible, man. You must keep the commandments in the last days, man, right. or you will be getting to the death, man. Just said the Lord, just said the Holy Bible, just said the prophets, man. You know what I'm saying? Get back to it, King. Time. Read from the top of the line. Yeah. Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 26. You got a minute word for the Lord? Hey, Jake don't want to hear. Let me get this. Hold on, King. It's the book of Zechariah, chapter 7, verse 11. Yeah. But they refused to hearken. They do what? But they, they refused to hearken. Read. And pulled away their shoulder. Hey, brother, you got a minute for the word of the Lord? You got a minute for the word of the Lord? Read that from the top, King. But they refused to hearken. And pulled away their shoulders uh -huh. and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Uh -huh. Yea, they made their hearts as an ebony stone. Hey, they made their heart hard as a damn stone. That's right. They don't want to hear the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, but they want the gift the Lord, that the Lord got. Oh, the Lord gonna bless me. No, according to this Bible, the Lord said, These priests that y'all listening to have the bow, man, this holy temple, man. Read that from the top again, King. Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 26. Bring it out. Her priest. I have violated my law, uh -huh. and I profaned my holy thing. Uh -huh. They have put no difference between the holy mm -hmm. and profane. Neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbath, and I have profaned hey, among right, them. And right now it's the Sabbath, man. Right. They're hiding their eyes from the Sabbath. Right. They're going to keep doing their own will in the last days, That's man. Right. That's right. War's about to come, man, and they don't give a damn, man. You know what I'm saying? Read that, King. It's the book of Ezekiel chapter 8 and verse 5. Read it out. 9 and verse 4. 
Shalakia. 9 and verse 4. Bring it out. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city. Do what? Go, Go through, through the, the midst, midst of the city. city. Do what? Go, Go through, through the midst, midst of, of the, the city. city. The Lord the commanded these people, man, along with Ezekiel, Isaiah, Habakkuk. Jeremiah, all these prophets, and even us in the last day, to go through the midst of the city, man. Right, that's you right. know what I'm saying? And guess what we're going to do? We're just like the angels, man. But these angels are going to do something special. They're doing the same thing we're doing. Read. Through the midst of Jerusalem, uh -huh. and set a mark upon their forehead. Do what? And, and set, set a mark, mark upon, upon their, their forehead. forehead. And on a more carnal level, we're trying to set a mark on our people's forehead, man. That they come back to you, how about you, how about die, right. and they receive the Holy Spirit and be blessed, man. Guess what? And be forever, ever, ever, ever God blessed, man. You know what I'm saying? That's right. With this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Read, King. Of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations. Hold on, brother. I got a scripture for you. I got a scripture for you real quick. Read that, King. It's the book of Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, uh -huh. through the midst of Jerusalem. Do well. Through the midst, midst of, of Jerusalem. Jerusalem. You know who Jerusalem is, right? You know who? It's a, it's a land, but it's also a peace. Yeah. You know who? Like Israel, like Hebrew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We chose the one. Come on, come on. We chose the one. And set a mark upon the forehead uh -huh. of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Hey, brother, we need more brothers out here, man, sighing and crying for the, all the abominations that's been done in all the midst. All that abomination, all that pride, and all that. You know what I'm saying? You got to do that, Yeah. Basically, we got to come to the light. We got to come to the light, but the light is the law, man, which is a Mashiach Yahweh's out, right? That's right. You know what I'm saying? Bring that out, King. In the book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38, uh -huh. you know, speak unto the children of Israel. Uh, you, you know, so you know yourself to be a child of Israel, right? Hello? You a child of Israel, right? Yeah, Judah, we chose you. Okay, let's get to okay? And bet them that they make them fringes. Do what? That make they make them fringes, fringes. Uh -huh. in the border of their garment. This is what's required. Man for salvation, bro. right? In these last days, we must Praise have God, our God, God. You know what I'm saying? Well, you, you know the name of the Lord, right? I mean, 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 I
crabs, the lobster, the shrimp, the mussels, all those things themselves. But we can't eat those. Those things were created to what? Cleanse the earth. That's right. The pig was cleansed to cleanse the earth, and we gonna eat him. He cleaning some stuff up, trying to save us from eating it, but we gonna eat him afterwards. Then what kind of sense does that make, man? The so-called white man has to feed up in these last days. Right. You know what I'm saying? We can't eat those. The Lord said, these are things that we cannot eat. Let me get the book of uh, Isaiah 66. When did I get? When did I get? This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Do what? Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. We gotta remember the Sabbath day. This is the Sabbath day, man. This is a holy day, man. We gotta keep it holy. Read. Six days, days you can work and do all your things you need to do, read. And do all thy work. Uh -huh. But the seventh day. But what? But, but the seventh day. day. But what? But, but the, the seventh day. day. And commonly because these people have deceived our people, right. we're keeping the set the first day of the week and not the top of the day, man. You know what I'm saying? We can't listen to this dude. Damn uh Tom from the Jeffersons, we can't listen to him, man. You know what I'm saying? This dude has deceived our people, man. Revelation 12, man. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, and now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to be the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul. And that's what our people do, man. As soon as the commandments coming out, as soon as the words of the Lord come out, they take off. If the white man come out and give a commandment, they stand right there. Yep. Yes, master. That's right. But the Lord says something, they don't want to hear it, man. That's right. The Lord can take your life in any day or minute. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Especially, why would you want to listen to a dude that looks like this? Damn, Elmer J. Fudd, hey, brother, you got to be for the word of the Lord, King. It's the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people, who? my people, are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. God, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also, the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Let me get that Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Oh, no. The ox know of his owner. The what? The, the ox know of his owner. Hey, sister, listen to this script to read. In the ass, his master's crib. Uh -huh. But Israel, but who? But, but Israel, but who? But Israel, but Israel read. does not know. Our people don't know, man. Read. My people does not consider. The Lord said his very own people, they don't even consider, man. That's right. Hey, what's your nationality? Right. Oh, man, that is a car, man. Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 13. Bring it out. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. They what? Because they, they have, have no knowledge. knowledge. This brother sat right here and said, and said, Shalom, brother. And he followed the most high, but he got no knowledge. The brother tried to give him the sincere milk and he walks away, man. And don't understand that he's choosing death instead of life, man. That's right. You know? But we ain't dealing with that. Let me get, let me let's get back to the lesson real quick. Let me get the book of uh Let me get Jeremiah 50 and 22. 50 and 8 real quick. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 8. Yeah. And it reads, Remove out of the midst of Babylon uh -huh. and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as the he goats before the flock. Uh-huh. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon. He will what? I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon. See, this is that war, that great war the Lord is talking about, read. An assembly of great, great. nations. A what? An assembly of, of great, great nations. nations. The Lord said he's going to bring assembly of great nations. That's, man, that's right? right. You know what I'm saying? How can anybody want to refute that, man? Let me get the book of Psalm of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 5, man. Yo. Song of Solomon 3 and 14, man. Song of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 14. Bring it out. Eight. And verse 8. Bring it out. They all hold swords. They what? They all hold, hold swords. swords. Read. Being expert in war. And being what? Being, being expert, expert in war. Hey, all these brothers are mighty as hell, man. They all hold swords. And they're ex expert. Expert. 
experts of war, man. That's right. That's right. experts of war, man. The brother right here got the precision. He got the apocrypha. He right. got the Torah. That's and right. He got the New Testament. That's right. And he's ready to slice and dice. That's right. Report to the word, man. That's, That's right. right. Read that. Read the Talk in verse 5, King. So it's Solomon, chapter 3, and verse 5. Bring it out. Oh. I charge you, all you daughters of Jerusalem, uh -huh. by the roads and by the high to the field, that you stir not up, nor awake my love till he please. Read. Who is this? That coming out of the wilderness uh -huh. like pillars of smoke. Like what? Like pillars of smoke. Read. Perfumed with myrrh and frankincense. Uh huh. With all powers of the merchants. With all powers of the merchants, read. That's right. Behold his bed with the Solomon's three score billion men. He had what? Three, three score, score billion, billion men. men. He had 60 valiant men, man, read. Or about it of the valiant of Israel. Uh huh. They all hold swords. They what? They, they all, all hold swords. swords. Read. Being expert in war. Being expert in war, read. Every man has his sword. Every what? Every, Every man, man has his sword. sword. Don't leave home without your sword. And right. we're talking about a spiritual sword. The, the, the Lord, man, the Holy Bible, man. Right. That is our sword. Hey, the war, the warfare, well, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. Right. Read that again, King. From the Solomon chapter 3, and verse 8. Uh -huh. They all hold swords. Being expert in war, uh -huh. every man has his sword upon his thigh uh -huh. because of the, the fear in the night. Hey, that's what the Lord said. That every man had. The Lord even told Peter and, and the apostles, what? Get you a sword. Sell that thy have and get them a sword, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Get the garment. Bring that out, King. Isaiah chapter 21 and verse 15. Bring it out. For they fled from the sword. They what? For they, they fled, fled from, from the sword. sword. Uh -huh. From the drawn sword and from the bent bow. And from the grievousness of war. Hey, I got a scripture for you real quick, Mr. White Man. Mr. White Man, listen to this scripture. Isaiah, chapter 21, verse 15. Uh -huh. For they fled from the sword. What are they doing? For they, they fled, fled from, from the sword. sword. Right, read. From the strong sword and from the bent bow and from the grievousness of war. Hey, they can't, hey, they don't want to come up here and deal, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Esau want to get a gun. He want to get the AR, the damn, the, the, the KSG, the, right. K, the, the AKA, the damn SK, and all the other Ks, and he ready to shoot you. But he don't want to deal with this war, man. That's he right. don't want to deal with the spiritual war, King. Right. They don't want to come up and deal with the spiritual war, man. Let's That's look at right. Isaiah chapter three and verse one, King. It's the book of Isaiah chapter three, verse one. Right. Right. For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, Thou take away from Jerusalem uh -huh. and from Judah the stay and the staff, uh -huh. the whole stay of bread. The what? The, the whole, whole stay of bread. bread. That's what's coming down the pipe right now, man. I'm holding, I'm currently holding food and I'm seeing half loaf, a quarter loaf of damn, oh, wow. damn chicken and meat, man. That's right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we know these things, and we know that hey, all these things are coming to pass. You see all these famines coming to pass. Hey, you going to Walmart, they're short on this. Going to Kroger, they don't have that. Going to damn public, they ain't got half the stuff, man. That's why. Bring that out, kid. And the whole stay of water. Uh-huh. Verse 2. The mighty man and the man of war. The what? The, the mighty, mighty man, man and, and the, the man, man of war. war. Read. The judge. The what? The, the judge. judge. Read. And the prophet. Uh-huh. And the prudent. The what? And, and the, the prudent. prudent. Read. And the ancient. Verse 3. Uh-huh. The captain of fifty. The what? The, the captain, captain of, of fifty. 50. Read. And the honorable man. Uh-huh. And the counselor. Uh-huh. And the cunning. And the cunning slacker. Y'all got a minute for the word of the Lord, sir? Right. right. One minute. And the cunning artificer. Uh-huh. And the elegant orator. Right here, Verse four. Hey, sis. Hey, sis. How's it going, sis? I got a question for y'all. Oh, okay. I got a question. I got a question. You know, I'm going to put you on a light trial, but I think you know these things, okay? Right. What is your nationality? African American. African American. And that's your question. Now, the name of, of, of America is named after you. The name of Africa got named after who? He didn't discover America. We don't get to that. This man was Bill Stevens Africana. Right. Who conquered the land, who conquered Africa and named it after himself. Teach it all. The Lord said, you got that priest of the Lord said he they conquered land and named them after That's himself. Bring that out. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? We've been moving, we've been bamboozled in these last days. Because we can't be the name after him and him, and we look like we look, right? These are two different white men. Two different colonizers, you know, and that gave us the aspiration that we are what? African Americans, right? But we're not African Americans, you know what I'm saying? But can you give me a second now? Prove to you, who, to you who we are? Bring that piece about this again. Psalm chapter 49 and verse 11. Bring it out. Their inward thought is that their houses 
shall continue forever. The so-called white men think his lands are gonna continue to forever, right. Reed. And their dwelling places to all generations, uh -huh. they call their lands after their own name. They call their lands after their own name. So who, who could this be talking about? Great question. The land of Kittim, the land of Kittim was talking about what, General Romelis, and now it's called Rome, you know? But these people, it was so-called black people here in America, right? That's right. The so-called true Native Americans, you know? And they were conquered. Not only they were conquered, the rest of their brothers and sisters were conquered. They were brought all to the same place. But well, we're going to get that. Let me get the book of, uh, you remember Moses in the Bible? What did Moses do? Good question. That was the biggest thing in the Bible, huh? Bush, like that. Well, we, we can deal with that, oh, but, the, but the Lord, ultimately, what was his mission? He had to go tell Pharaoh to what? Let his people go. You know what I'm saying? Let's find out who his people are, okay? Let me get the book of Genesis, chapter 15 and verse 15, okay? And let me get the curses. You know what I want? It's the book of Genesis, chapter 15 and verse 15. Thir give me 13, read. Uh-huh. Genesis. Chapter 13 and verse 15. No, 15 and 13, King. It's a lot. All right. Chapter 15 and verse 13. Uh -huh. Read out. Hold on. Because we know that the Lord promised Abraham, right, that he would be blessed. And through him, all nations would be blessed, right? Right. You remember in the story when Abraham, he, he, he kind of got beside himself. Yeah. He was like, he didn't know if he was going to have a child or not, right? right. He was questioning the Most High God, right? right? Let's see what the Lord said about his children. Read. And he said unto Abraham, Know of surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in the land that so, is not theirs. So the Lord said, know for sure, Abraham, that your seed is going to be a stranger in a land that, that's not theirs. Read. And shall serve them, and they shall afflict them uh -huh. 400 years. They shall serve them, and shall afflict them 400 years. Let me get the book of Exodus chapter 1 and verse 7. All it's right. the book of Exodus. Chapter 1 and verse 7. Uh -huh. And the children of Israel the who? and the children of Israel Read. were fruitful. Well, what? Were fruitful. Read. And increased abundantly. Uh-huh. And multiplied. And what? And, and multiplied. Read. And waxed exceedingly mighty. Uh-huh. And the land was filled with them. There was what? And the, the land, land was filled, filled with them. them. Read. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt. Oh what? New, of new, a new king over new, Egypt. Uh -huh. Which knew not Joseph. They didn't know Joseph. Hold that. Hold what you guys. Keep right there. Bring that out, King. Bring that out again. God, this is the book of Genesis, uh -huh. chapter 15 and verse 13. Uh -huh. And he say unto Abraham, uh -huh. No surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, uh -huh. and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them. And they shall afflict these people. The people that's ruling over them shall afflict them. Read. 400 years. How many years? 400 years. 400 years. Read. And also thy nation, uh -huh. whom they shall serve, we I judge. The Lord said he's going to judge them. When the, when the Lord judge, he's not sitting on the throne talking about, let me see what you got. Hey, the Lord's bringing instruction upon you. When the Lord has judged you, your judgment is set. You know how when you go to court, a judge says, okay, yeah, you can do 15 years. You can do 15 years. The Lord is going to bring, them, bring this destruction upon you if he judges you. Read. Verse 16. Verse 16. Read. But in the fourth generation, uh -huh. they shall come hither again. In the what? In the fourth, fourth generation, generation, they shall come hither again. Now read this. It's the book of Exodus chapter 1 and verse 9. Uh -huh. And he said unto his people, uh -huh. Behold, the people of the children of Israel. The what? The people, the people of the children of Israel. Israel. So now guess what? Moses is delivering the children. He's supposed to deliver the children of Israel out of Egypt, right? Right. Abraham just got prophecy from the Lord that his seed was going to be in what? Slavery to the Egyptians, right? Right. But, and they started after four years, 40 years, they came out, right? Read. Behold, the children, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Or what? Are more oh, and mightier than we. Uh -huh. Come on, let us deal wisely with them. Hey, they said, let us deal wisely with them. That's right. You know what I'm saying? If you deal wisely with somebody, that means, you know what? You know how back in the days when people get ready to fight. Hey, call Junebug up, call Taurus up, call Boris up. Hey, man, look, man, we're going to go over here, we're going to hide in the bushes, Jake going to come outside, you know what I'm saying? We're going to kind of jump on him. That's right. Hey, that's dealing wisely with somebody, having a plan to execute. Read. 
lest they multiply, lest they, what? Lest they, they multiply, multiply. Uh -huh. and it come to pass uh -huh. that when there falleth out any war, well, what? that they there falleth out, out any war, war they join also unto our enemies. They join what? And they, they join, join also unto, unto our, our enemies. enemies. So these people are afraid that these certain people would what? Multiply and become over them, rule over them, and join to their enemies in time of war. But let's go find, we're going to find out more about these people. Let's get the curses real quick. Deuteronomy, uh -huh. chapter 28. And verse 15. Right and it reads, but this is but, Moses. This is Moses. I'm catching you up. This is Moses giving the children of, he just gave the children of Israel the law, statutes, and commandments from God, right? But the, listen to what the Lord, there is stipulation that you probably ain't never heard of in the Christian church. Because they don't they don't go into this. There was a stipulation, you know what I'm saying? Let me ask you a question. Y'all got children? You know when you got children, if you got children, man, hey, when you leave the house, when you was a child, mama gave you a stipulation. You feel me? Either keep my house clean. And when I get back from work, hey, you got a problem. Right. You know what I'm saying? Daddy get home from work. Somebody, it's some issues going to be had. You know what I'm saying? Some unpaid bills. That's but right. bring this out. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring right. it out. But it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now he just saved them. He told them, if you, if you don't listen and do what I say, read. And do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes. Which I command thee this day uh -huh. that all of these curses. Are we what? All, all these, these curses. curses. Now, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Good question, King. Would you say a curse is a good thing or a bad thing? It can be a, it's a bad thing to me. Okay. That's, that's the right answer, read. So come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. And overtake thee. You know what I'm saying? Let's get the first curse, man. Curse! Shut thy feet in the city. Do what? Curse! Shut thy feet in the city. Uh huh. Hey, curse! Shut up, be in the field. Hey, this man was in the middle of the city. He's cursed, ain't he? These people were cursed and where? And what? Bring that out again, King. Curse! Shut up, be in the city. Uh huh. And curse! Shut up, be in the field. Uh huh. Let me get the book of uh, Let me get chapter thirty or verse thirty-two, King. Verse thirty-two. Uh huh. Thy son and thy daughters shall be eat shall be given unto another people. Uh huh. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them. All the day long, uh -huh. and there shall be no might in thy hand. No might in thy hand. That means these people gonna take your children, right? And they go, yeah, you gonna be looking for them all day long, and ain't no power. You don't have no power. Let me get verse forty-two. Verse forty-two. Uh -huh. Bring it out. And it reads, "All thy trees." No, and verse forty-six. Verse forty-six. Verse forty-six. Bring it out. And they shall be upon thee. All these curses shall be upon thee, Reed. For a sign. For what? For, for a, a sign. Uh -huh. And for one. How do you know a McDonald's in there? You see the sign, right? Uh -huh. So the Lord said, in these last days, this is how you know who his people are because right. they're going to be scattered to the four corners of the earth, Reed. That's right. And upon thy seed forever. Forever. Give me verse 48. Verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. Uh -huh. Reed. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Uh huh. Yeah. And hunger. And what? And, and hunger. hunger. What y'all ate? What's the last thing y'all ate, sister? The chicken biscuit, where you get it from? McDonald's. You got it from Who owns McDonald's? Good question, King. Read it out. Do, do black people own McDonald's? No. Uh, read that again, King. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee, uh -huh. and hunger. And what? And, and hunger. Uh -huh. and, and thirst. When you, hey, when you get something to eat, who we got to go to? We got to go to their stores, right? Right. Hey, we can't even damn go to the damn lake and drink water out of the wine. Because they're the poison, and now you got to go to them for what? Water, right? Right. Free? And and nakedness. Uh huh. Who you get your clothes from? Yeah, I mean, the we don't own this stuff. Oh, I got Sean John, Jay Z. Jay Z don't own that. Jay Z owns the name. You know what I'm saying? He's just an image, a false god that, that these so-called people have set up before us. That's you know what I'm saying? Read. And and one of all things. And one of all things. When you want your driver's license, you got to go to them. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you want to register, you, know, you can't purchase a damn car unless you go to them and give them some more money. Right. You can't buy no land because you got to give them some more money. And guess what? Heaven forbid you can't pay it. God. You, know, so you just pay, you just, and you work hard. Everybody, yeah. see, our people got an image in their head. That's right. They think that, oh man, I just, I just, I just acquired my land. I just paid my last payment. Don't pay your taxes to see what happens. Right. They're coming to get it, B. Uh, uh. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He shall do what? He, he shall, shall put, put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. Until he made you a damn coon. Man. That's right. You Read. know what yeah. I'm saying? The Lord said, you cannot make this up, man. That's this right. book is not a damn fictional book, man. That's right. The Lord, whatever the Lord says, man, these people try to feed our babies to alligators. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Read, King. Um, verse 49. Uh -huh. you know, the Lord shall bring a nation 
against thee. A what? A nation against, against thee. thee. Uh huh. From far. From what? From, from far. far. Hey, the Lord brought the so-called white men all the way from where they were, all the way to America. Right. Read. From the end of the earth. And all the way to Africa, right? Yeah. Read. As swift yeah. as the eagle flying. As swift as the eagle flying. That word, that word, hey, that word eagle rings bells left and right in the scripture. Yeah, and right. every time he speaks about the word eagle, guess what? The so-called white man. Guess what? If you look up the analogy, go look up the maps of every last, look up the symbol of every last white nation mm -hmm. and see if they're the, see if they're similar to eagle. America, eagle. Russia, eagle. France, England, all eagles. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bring that again. Bring that out again, King. Verse 49. Uh -huh. The Lord shall bring a so nation against thee uh -huh. from far from the end of the earth, uh -huh. as swift as the eagle flies, uh -huh. a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Uh -huh. Let's get, let's get to the point. Yeah, yeah. Verse let me, 68. Give me verse 68. Read. Let's about this curse here. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord said he's going to bring you to Egypt again. Remember we read in uh, Genesis? Now watch this. Let me get to Genesis chapter 15 and verse 16. Watch this. Come on, this is Genesis chapter 15 and verse 16. Yeah. But in the fourth generation. But when? In the fourth generation, generation. Read. They shall come hither again. They're going to come back into what? Egypt again. Right. Let's see what the word Egypt man, means. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. We can find out what Egypt means, read. I'm the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage, meaning out of slavery. So the Lord said in the fourth generation, they're going to come back to slavery again, read. Now watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 uh -huh. and verse 68. Read out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into slavery again. How do we get here? Good question. How do we get here to America? How do we get here? What mode of transportation did they bring us? Huh? From the top. Come, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord so I bring thee into Egypt again. Into slavery again. With what ship? With what? With, with ship. With what? With, with ship. With what? With, with ship. The Lord is not lying. The Lord said he would bring us back into slavery That's again right. with ships, man. That's That's right. By the way we're out, I speak unto thee. Uh -huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. We should not see our homeland again no more. Read. That's right. And there he shall be sold unto your enemies. Shall be what? Unto your enemies. Or shall be what? Unto, unto your, your enemies. enemies. The Lord said we shall be sold unto our enemies. That's right. Read. That's right. Think about it. When we first got on the slave ship, what they were doing? Auction us out one day. $200, $100, $50. They had, they had the auction block. The different slave master was buying slaves. Read that again, King. Thou shalt sin no more again, uh -huh. and there he shall be sold unto your enemies uh -huh. for a bond man uh -huh. and bond women. So, so who are we sold to? Right. Huh? That's right. right. So the Lord said they're what? Your enemies. Are what? Your enemies. Your what? Your enemies. So right there, 6 and 13 real quick. Your enemies, the Lord said there were your enemies, read. For bond men, slave men, and bond women, and slave women, and no man shall, no buy, man shall buy you. Why? The word buy goes back to the word redeem. Amashiach Yahweh, who you call Jesus Christ, he's the redeemer of right. Israel. Right. Nobody else. And no, no salvation for nobody else but Israel. That's right. You know what I'm saying? What the white man need to be saved for? Can he walk to and fro at nighttime, three o'clock in the morning? Don't nobody bother him. Right. Bro, I was at my uncle's house the other day in the plug, having him a refrigerator, and guess what happened? At 3 o'clock in the morning. Like, hold on, these yeah. niggas just checked me and they ain't say, I ain't been over here in 20 years. You know what I'm saying? But he can just walk right through. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said he's not in, he's not in trouble like other men. You know what I'm saying? So now, let me ask you a question. Do you know who you are according to the Bible now? What is your, what is your nationality? Yeah. <laughs> did, did, not, did not we just prove to you who the so-called black man in America was? According to the Bible. Let me get six, let me get Solomon Solomon chapter 1 and verse 5. I'm gonna give you one more key, sister. Give me let me Revelation chapter 1 and 15. We're gonna see what Jesus looked like. We're gonna see what Jesus looked like, and we're gonna see what King Solomon looked like, okay? Yeah. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh -huh. His head! And his head, his what? His head, and his head. Uh huh. For what, like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow. Uh huh. And his eyes, his what? And his eyes, were as a flame of fire. Read. And his feet, his what? And his feet, and his what? And his feet, his feet. If you took off your shoes, sister, ain't this your feet the same color as your skin? Okay, read. Like unto fine brass. Fine brass. And what color is brass? Good question. 
Uh huh. As if they burned in a burnt dark ground. Right. Okay, read. His voice at the sound of many waters. His voice at the sound of many waters. Now let's see what the Most High God looked like. Right. Let me get that. Let me get that in there. You know what I want. That's Jesus. I'm out here at Yahweh in the Hebrew tongue, and God's real name is what? Yahweh, according to the scriptures. Right. That's, That's why the right. America was saying, hey, y'all, hey. They were saying, hell, Yahweh. That means all praise to the Most High. You know what I'm saying? But we'll deal with that on, a, on another level. Read that again. Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 9. Now, uh -huh. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. The Lord said, He beheld till the thrones cast down. The Lord said, He beheld till the thrones cast down. And the Ancient of Days did yeah. sit. The Most High God said, whose garment was white as snow, uh -huh. and the hair of his head like the pure wool. Who hair? Who got woolly hair on his hair? Right. Okay, read. Uh -oh. His throne was like a fiery flame, uh -huh. and his wheels as burning fire. As what? And his wheels wheels as a burning fire. fire. Read. That's all. Verse 10. Uh -huh. A fiery stream issued and came forth. Hold on, let me get Daniel 10 and 5. Right. Daniel. Chapter 10 and verse 5. Then I lifted up my eyes. Hello, he, he, Daniel said he lifted up his eyes, read. And looked, and behold, uh -huh. a certain man clothed in linen, uh -huh. whose loins were golden with the fine gold of Uthash. Uh -huh. His body also was like the barrel, uh -huh. his face as the appearance of lightning, uh -huh. and his eyes as left of fire, uh -huh. and his arms and his feet. Arms and his feet, read. Like it colored to polished brass. To polished brass. The same thing again. You get what I'm saying? Now let's find out an attribute. Let's see. We're going to find out real quick an attribute about these people. Let me get some of them. Just a. Oh, give, give me one more second, okay, sister. Okay. Yeah, you ain't going to die. Right. I'm trying to give you salvation in life because you got to repent and come back to your place and your man's place in order to live. You know, it's the book of Songs of Solomon, uh -huh. chapter 1 and verse 5. Uh -huh. I am black. I am what? I am black. black. I am black. I am black. I am black. Solomon said he's black. Read. But Kamala. But what? Hester. Read. Oh, ye daughters oh, of Jerusalem. Oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. Sit down to verse 10. Verse 10. Uh -huh. Thy cheeks are comely with rolls of jewels. Who put rolls of jewels in their mouth, sister? Uh, read. Thy neck. With chains of gold. With what? With hey, chains, chains of, of gold. gold. Who got now? Who? So what, is, what is this man talking about? Why are they saying, what is this guy? This right. damn guy. Right. This damn guy. You know that's in the Bible, that they would do this? Let me get one script and I'm going to let y'all go. Let me get, you know that one Maccabees, man. Let me get for you. Hey, yo, I want to tell you last time you were sensitive. <laughs> Hey, open up, 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 open what you're, what you're Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30. Uh -huh. For I knew that they, that they would not hear me. Back when Moses gave them the law, he gave them what? The choice to get the blessings or the curses, right? The Lord said what? For I knew that they would not hear me. The Lord me. said he knew they weren't going to hear him, read. Because they're the stiff necked people. Because they're hard headed people, read. Right. But in the land of their captivity, we together free. But in the, in the land, land of their captivity, captivity, in the land that we was carried captive free, they shall remember themselves. They shall do what? They, they shall, shall remember, remember themselves. themselves. So how the Christian pastor said it is the Israelite, all the Israelites. The Lord said that what? We will remember ourselves free. Yeah. Verse 31. And so know that I am the Lord, their God, for I will give them a heart. Ears to ears. He's gonna give us a mind to understand what the book is saying. Right. Read. right. Remember, Christ said Israel is gonna be blinded and part until the last time. But now the Lord said, "What? In the land of our captivity, we are gonna do what? Raise back up. Read. And they shall praise me uh -huh. in the land of their captivity uh -huh. and think upon my name. And what? And, and think, think upon, upon my name. name. Read. And return from the stiff neck. He said we was gonna remember his real name and return from our stiff ways. Read. And. From the wicked deeds. And from what? And from, from the, the wicked, wicked deeds. Like today, breaking the Sabbath. Today is the Sabbath. The Lord said, well, on that seventh day, we can't be what? Buying and selling. It's a holy day. But so-called white man told us we can do that on Sunday. Don't worry about it. 
Why? Because he must keep y'all in sin for him to stay on top. Right. Okay. Read. For they so remember the way of their fathers uh -huh. were sent before the Lord. Were sent before the Lord. Now bring this out, read. It's the book of Luke, chapter 13, and verse 3. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I tell you nay. Read. But except you repent. Except you do what? Except, except you repent. repent. Except you do what? Except, except you repent. Read. You shall so, all likewise perish. The Lord said, if you don't repent, you're going to perish, sister. Yeah. And he's only talking to us. Wait. And guess what? The more and more we don't repent, our children are getting shot down in the middle of the street. Right. right. Nobody's going to jail for it. Right. We dying at numbers of ways. Why? We do hey, we dying at a murderous rate. Why? Because we have forgot and forsaken the most high God, which is our God and our God only. You know what I'm saying? Amos 3 and 1, we can get this. Amos 3 and 2 and get this. And let the sisters go, man. If they got some, it's somebody get them. It's chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh-huh. Hear these words that the Lord has spoken against you. Against you, read. O children of Israel. Oh what? Oh children, children of Israel. Oh children, children of Israel. Read. Against the whole family. No, some of them. Against the whole family. Just the North American. Against the whole family. Just the so-called Negro. Against the whole family. The so-called Puerto Ricans. Against the whole family. The so-called Cubans. Against the whole family. Manasseh. Against the whole family. Damn it, all the damn uh, people of Mexico. Against the whole family. Against the whole damn family, read. We shall brought up from the land of Egypt, uh, saying. And the, read. You only have I know. Read what? You, you only, only have, have I know. Say it mildly, man. You, you only, only have, have I know. The Lord said he's only known us, man. Read. Right. Of all the family of the earth. Uh huh. Therefore, I will punish you. To what? Therefore, I will, I will punish you. The Chinese man ain't being shot. Therefore, I will punish you. The so-called African man not being shot. Therefore, I will punish you. The white man child can walk down the street and not get killed. Therefore, I will punish you. The so-called East Indian can come over here and do what the hell they want to and not be murdered by the white man. Read. Therefore, I will punish you. That's why the so-called black man is going through what they're going through today. Read. For all your iniquities. For all their sins. Uh, we gotta repent right. and come back to our Lord, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? These ways have been taught to us. We gotta forget them, man. You know what I'm saying? Like today, man. Let me get Exodus 20 and verse 8, man. Bring it up. Y'all know what I want, man. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 8. Uh -huh. Bring it up. Remember the Sabbath Do day. Do the to 20, 25, man. The Lord speaking. Keep going. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Do what? Remember, Remember the, the Sabbath, Sabbath day to keep it holy. holy. What day is the Sabbath day, sister? Huh? Huh? Are you sure? Sister says something, we're gonna read. Six days shall thou labor uh -huh. and do all thy work, uh -huh. but the seventh day. But what? But, but the, the seventh, seventh day. day. Which day is the seventh day of the week? Good question. Sunday. Sunday's the first day of the week. Mm. Saturday. Saturday. The word Sabbath means Saturday means Sabbath. Read that again, King. Uh, six days shall thou labor uh -huh. and do all thy work, uh -huh. but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy power. Uh -huh. And it Thou shalt not do any work. The so-called white man worshiped the sun god Ra and all these other sun gods. So guess what? When we came over here, they made us what? Worship their god. That's right. Okay? That's what happened. You know what I'm saying? Let me get that Deuteronomy chapter uh, 28, verse 54. 58. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 54. Uh -huh. no. So that the... No, 20, 58. 64. God. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. No, oh, that's 64, man. 2864. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 64. No. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. The what? And the, the Lord, Lord shall, shall scatter thee among all, all people. people. Read. From one end of the earth, even unto the other. Uh huh. Remember the, the, the transatlantic slave trade? He scattered up from one end of the earth to the other field. In the earth, read. And there, uh -huh. thou shalt serve other gods. So what? Thou shalt serve, shalt serve other gods. gods. What's the cross? Thou, thou shalt serve, serve other gods. gods. What's the damn cobblestone? Thou, thou shalt serve, serve other gods. gods. The Lord said you're going to serve other gods. This guy, this guy's not a my check your house out. This is what? Serpent's Christian. Okay? Let me ask you a question. They said his name is Jesus, right? Remember when you was in school, who was the God of the Greeks and the Romans? Zeus, who are the Greeks and the Romans today? The so-called white man. That's right. Okay? He gave you his God. He make you say, yeah, Zeus. That means hell, Zeus. Okay? According to the scriptures. I don't give a damn how nobody break it down about this so-called etymology. We can go into the transliteration of the word. It does not mean that. In no kind, you can't break it down. They gave us his God. Bring that again. 
And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people uh -huh. from one end of the earth, from one end of the earth, even unto the other, to the other end of the world. Read. And there, and where, and there, and where, and, and there, there, right where we stand. Read. Thou shalt serve other gods. We shall what? Thou shalt serve other gods. The Lord said we was gonna serve other gods. Read. That's Which right. neither thou nor thy fathers our, have known. Our ancestors didn't know about these gods that we served. Jesus did. Read. Even wood and stone. Even what? Even, even wood, wood and stone. stone. That word even in the old in the old in the English context means. Indeed, wood and stone. I want people sitting up in a church building worshiping a damn cross. The same thing. Let me ask you a question. If your brother or your father got shot with a nine millimeter, you gonna put that nine millimeter on your on your you be a fool to do that one. That, that's wicked. When the Lord told you don't know what? No graven images, man. That's right. Most of all people are wrapped up in two major religions. Name one of them. Christianity. That's not in the Bible. The Lord never told us to be a Christian in the Bible. Right. Uh, or be Christianity, okay? So our people worship, sitting up in the, in the Christian church, worshiping the cross, and the others worshiping a black rock in Islam. Read that again one more time, okay? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Hold on, sister, I know you're hungry. You get some spiritual food right now, read. From the one end of the earth, even unto the other. I understand, we just got here. And there, Thou shalt serve other gods. Right in America, we shall serve other gods, read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, uh -huh. even wood and stone. Indeed, wood and stone. And among these nations. And among these nations, these other nations, because the Lord created 18 nations. Where is it at? 18 nations. And guess what? The white men are the nation of evil. Among all these nations, we, all people are scattered. And guess what? We worship a day god. You feel That's me? Right. Read. Shall not find no ease. Shall we what? Shall not find no ease. No matter what we do, man, we worried about our bills. We worried about this. We do them every morning. You feel me? We ain't found no ease. We still gotta work for this. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Right Repent ye therefore. Do what? Repent, Repent ye therefore. Do what? Repent ye therefore. Read. And be converted. Repent and be converted. You know how to do that? Come back to the law and commandments. I know they were taught you in church that what? The law is done away with. Only the law sacrifice is done away with. Why? Because Christ became the sacrifice. So we must keep the commandments. Come back to our God. Malachi 3 and 7, real quick. Hey, take hey, two professions, sister. Hey, two better than one. Like my brother is it's mine, that's his slang. You know what I'm saying? Malachi 3 and 7. Watch this. Malachi! This is how you this is what you gotta do to come back to the Lord. Chapter 3 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Even from the days of your fathers. Even from the days of our ancestors, read. You are going away from our ordinances uh -huh. and have not kept them. And not kept them, read. Return unto me. The Lord said, return unto his ordinances, read. And I will return unto you. You will return unto us. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to be put over every nation. But guess what? This so-called war that Russia's brewing up, this is in the Bible. Right. This is that war, sister. This thing can kick off any minute. When they talk about it, in church, they say, this is the holy war. Mm. This is it. This is the one that's going to bring forth the, the deliverance of the children of Israel. That's right. God! 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 Quam Yasharab! Quam Yasharab! Quam Yasharab! Quam Yasharab! This is blessed for y'all, sister, and y'all read these scriptures, man, and hope the Spirit of the Most High come upon y'all, and y'all repent and come back to these long days of commandment and be part of the nation of Israel.